Hi guys, welcome to this session on Google Sheets. In this module, I want to show you how you can sort by the days of the week, which is obviously not an alphabetical sort. I also want to show you how you can sort a list like this list that is also not alphabetical. Now you have to do a few things to get this to work. So first of all, let's have a look at this side. So I've got some dates, and then I've got the days of the week, and then I've got a formula that is giving me the number of that day of the week. So there's three things going on here. Now what I'm going to do is just create that over here. So I'll do today's date, and I'll just pull that down a little bit. Let's get myself a few dates. Now this cell is just going to equals that just press enter and just tick that fill down so that fills it down so we've just got a complete duplicate set of dates but in this set I want to change the format that's displayed to reflect this so if I go to the format tab and then you've got number options and if I come right down to the bottom of this list you've got custom date and time so there's the option that's there from before if I drop this list down you can see you've got different options that you can select there so that's the one I want so it's just remembering what I've set there so I'll just apply that and then it puts it in the day format it's still a date but it puts it in the day format now if I want this this table so I just give this a little title date and day if I want this to be sorted so all the Mondays come first or Sundays come first then Monday's second and you can change that order I need to do another thing so I'm going to put weekday as a title here I need to know what the weekday is of that date so basically Thursday should be the fifth day of the week with Sunday being the first day so the function is equals weekday and then click on the cell Press enter on that, it comes up with five, and then I'll do control and enter to fill that down. So now I've got the days of the week. Now I can highlight this table and go to the sort option, go to advanced sort, and then you've got column E. So I take that option. So I want this to sort by weekday and then sort and then it will bring me Sunday to the top like so. And if I keep if I pull this list down, so let's just highlight this so I get another Sunday and a few Mondays. So I pull that down and I do that sort again. Data sort. Highlight it first. Data sort advanced sorting options my list has a header weekday okay sort now it's putting all the Sundays together all the Mondays together etc etc so that's how I can sort by days of the week I could then just hide this column this is just a helper column this weekday column if that's what you wanted to do but I'm just going to delete that one now and look at this one so that's the days of the week this one's a bit more involved. Let's say that I have a list of executive officer, directing officer, don't know what that means, and admin assistant, uh, just a list that needs to be sorted in this order. Now, obviously this is not in alphabet, an alphabetical list. So A to Z, Z to A wouldn't work. So what I've done here is just put an if function, a nested if function, to give it a score on the door, basically. And that is the function that I've used. So if I just recreate this one for you, I'll just copy this down out of the way down here and then do the same thing. So it's equals if open the bracket. So then if that cell equals EO, I need to put that in quotes, EO, close quotes, comma, one, comma, another if. 
if that cell equals DO, it's not case sensitive, comma two, comma another if, open the bracket on the if, if that cell equals FJ, comma three, comma another if, and lastly, if that cell equals AA, comma four, and then for every other, every open if, you have to close the bracket. Now, I don't need to do a false, but I will do a false, comma, if none of those are true, quote, quote, leave it blank. And then I've done four open if, so I need to do four, four close brackets. So let's just check I've got all the quotes in there. I think that's okay. Press enter and then control enter to fill that down. So I now get this order one, two, three. So this is like a little helper column. So if I put this um, APT, APPT appointment and then put that as order as a title and then just make this a bit bigger just highlight a few of these copy those push them down the bottom there okay same thing highlight the list go to data sort range advanced sorting options make sure you tick that and then You've got your two columns, appointment and order. Order's what I want, sort. So all the ones should come to the top, then the twos, etc., etc. And if you so wish, you can hide that column once you've sorted it and then show it again afterwards or unhide it. You know, just bring it back. If you need to add extra things on and need to sort the list again, you just unhide the column up there and pull the formula down if you've added extra ones and then resort it again and then hide the column again. But this is just a tool to help you create a sort on a non-alphabetical list. First one was days of the week, second one was just a list that had to be in a specific order. So hopefully this little video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.